what's up YouTube so I'm not sure how this video will turn out but um a couple of you guys on the channel have been asking me one of you asked me how do you oil the burner which is pretty simple um <clears throat> And another one of you asked me, I believe, what kind of oil I use. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is the only thing I recommend using in your burner, especially, and this is at your own risk, um, but I've been doing it on all my launchers. I don't have any problem with it. Any of them. Um, in fact, they work better. With the Berna LE, from what Berna told me, it's good after about four or five CO2s to give it one, two drops of oil. Um, something to do with the internal parts in here. Uh, something to do with the internal parts, I'm not really 100% sure, but... The investment I'm gonna do like they say now the other oils is we all know the burner this works really good um, I don't have no problems with it but it doesn't last too long I, I find out so I started using and this is I've been using this same bottle ever for over two years now ever since the burner HD come out about a year after the burner HD came out I've been using this when I got my first burn, Berna HD. The label's not on here because it, it peeled off from the oil. It's called liquid berries. It's it's a synthetic oil. Um, this here, I believe, is mineral based. The Berna oil. Pretty pot. Yep, yep. Mineral lubricant oil. Now. One thing I'm going to tell you guys, and it's up to you, you can do as you want. I don't never recommend using silicone oil in the burner. For me, it messes up my FPS nasty. And I mean like low numbers. It, they don't like silicone oil. If you're using silicone oil, stop. Um, this I get from Less Lethal Defense Home Wrecker. I think it's around fourteen or fifteen dollars a bottle. Um, I want to say it's probably. I don't even know how many ounces. Honestly, you guys, well over an ounce. Like I said, I've had this same bottle here since twenty twenty one. All my launchers, I use it. Now I use this because it lasts. It, it lasts longer, and it, it seems to work better in the hot weather and in the cold weather. Um, smoother action. So, if you guys are one of them guys asking how to oil the burner, I'm not oiling this because I already did. You don't want to put too much oil because what burner says, putting too much oil doesn't really matter. Um, it's not going to hurt your gun at all, your launcher, but I have learned it also, too much oil will also lower your FPS for whatever reason. So with this, it pretty much is, it comes with this piece here when you buy it from Berna. Here's that long needle. I'll tell you why I don't like to use it or do it this way. When you use this, you guys, you just pretty much slide it in with the needle and that helps guide it on in there till it's flush. Which, like I said, I am not going to oil it because I just did a couple days ago and I am not going to screw up my FPS. Now with this, you probably figured, some of you might be thinking, how am I going to oil it? Well, again, I'm not going to oil it, but I'll be happy to show you how I do it. I just put a drop on there. I put one little drop of this on the CO2 cap. might be hard to see. Now, I'm just going to wipe this off because, like I said, I just oiled it and I'm not going to put over oil it. But imagine that drop of oil is still on there. Again, liquid bearings, I recommend. 
but that's your choice. It may void your warranty. I don't know. Probably not. But when the oil's on here, I put the drop on the top of the cap. And then I simply just put it in that way. Hold it in with my finger. So the CO2 is in there. Now why I do it that way is simply because when you use this, it goes, matter of fact here, I'll try to show you. I use this for a lot of different things, you guys, and it's very helpful. I use it on my launchers to make sure my seals are good. <clears throat> I will try to show you guys what I mean. Okay, so if you guys can see that little white thing, that is the seal. That's the white seal. Now, when you use the burnout oil and that needle, it actually goes into the needle right there, that black part, that's the needle. It goes into that. It really doesn't lubricate the uh, seal, the O-ring there very well. Now, when you do it like I just showed you, using liquid bearings. Now, you can do this with the burn oil, too, or any oil. Um, but that helps get that little white O-ring right there all lubricated while the CO2 sits in there for a tighter seal. And it also lubricates that O-ring to prevent it from getting dry and cracking. And the oil will still go in once you puncture it. Um... Probably doesn't look too good on there, but it is a clear picture on this. But yeah, that's what I mean. Um, you guys are probably going to wonder where I got this. Got this off Amazon. It's like 40 bucks. Um, works really good for a lot of different things, but I do use it on my launchers as well to... Check things like the O-ring, detents, inside the barrel, down in here, parts where I can't see. Just kind of helps me, give me, gives me an idea. Um, but that's how I oil my launchers, you guys. And I will put the link to liquid bearings in the description. Now, keep in mind, sometimes I can't put the link. YouTube don't let me. I don't know why. Sometimes it works. Other times it don't. After the video premieres, then I go back and check in the description um, where to buy this. I'll try to put the link so it goes direct to the product with that company. So if you want to buy it, you can just click, put it in cart, and there you go. So that's basically it. Uh... Yeah, so that's it, you guys. Uh, liquid bearings is a way to go, in my honest opinion, especially if you're in a hot climax, climate, Christ, <laughs> or a cold or hot climate. This is the way to go. It's been a long day, you guys, talking about lubes here and stuff. <laughs> so... Like, share, subscribe. Um, more videos to come once I have time. And uh, check out Shadow Defensive today. And go in my description and scroll down. You'll see it. Use my coupon code RAT10 and get 10% off. Entire site. No orders too small, too big. Um, help support my channel and also... Helps you be better prepared with the best quality holsters out there. And also check out the gun belt. Um, you can basically, from what it seems like, you can wear like your regular belt. Um, so yeah, check out his new site, Shadow Defensive, and um, 
trust me guys, best comfortable holsters that can seal carry. Or even outside the waistband. Very high, durable grade, made in USA. Skip the China stuff. Support a business here in the United States. And get what you truly pay for. Good quality. You get what I'm saying. The best holsters. So like, share, subscribe. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching.